7. Who gets the benefits these days? Recently, August 1982, California Magazine carried an excellent report on the burglar cops of Hollywood. The Los Angeles Police Department caught some men in the Hollywood division breaking and entering stores to rob them. Several officers had developed a profitable sideline in stealing. Two incidents followed which tell us how vulnerable and foolish our system of protection for workers can be. One of the bad cops involved was caught carrying cash and merchandise out of a store. He was taken to headquarters for a lengthy interrogation. Because he was on duty when arrested, he asked for and, in terms of the rules, was paid overtime for the hours of interrogation. But this was not all. One of the officers allegedly involved in the break-ins and burglaries apparently found the experience of arrest traumatic. His doctor claims that the experience has created problems for the suspected officer and that he is therefore entitled to a disability pension. I wish incidents like this were a rarity, but they are not. Our laws and regulations seem to favour the persons out to exploit the system. For example, George Peters reports in the Washington Monthly, October 1982, that, in a sex discrimination case, the woman plaintiff was awarded $100,000, but her lawyers were awarded $2 million by the federal judge. I submit that this woman suffered more discrimination in court than she ever did before she went to court. In the past generation, we have had many pieces of social legislation passed to provide a host of benefits. Many people resent any criticism of such legislation. My answer to all such is simply this. If you believe the food stamp program is a good one, then you should lead the movement to rid the program of abuses. Otherwise, public disgust and protest will kill the program. If you believe that overtime pay and disability benefits are necessary, then work overtime to clean up the abuses before angry people destroy these benefits. If a program is designed to meet needs, yet becomes a means to help exploiters, in time, no one will tolerate it.